IBD, which is predominantly ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, is a fairly uncommon disease, but we have a lot of people living with these disorders for a long time in our population. Now, the reason we're making this video is that this is not a new disease, but we finally have some high quality randomized control evidence to suggest that an IBD surgeon will be able to significantly improve your quality of life, reduce the chances of recurrence and flares and the need for prolonged medications in these disorders. So what happened with these diseases are that over a period of time, you know, due to preferences of patients to have medications, they ended up being on a cocktail of a whole bunch of medications that were terribly decreasing the quality of life or their productive years. Uh, and patients naturally prefer to have medicines as opposed to taking uh, surgical options. But then that then leads to very poor quality of life and a lot of good years are lost in the process. Surgeons often felt that there was a lot of different surgeons could make in this process but weren't able to communicate directly to patients because the patients were largely managed by physicians. We now have randomized control evidence in the form of ACURE 2 trial. When I say a randomized control evidence, this is almost the highest level of evidence that is used in which patients are put into two categories where they're given surgical treatment and they're given medical treatment to see who does better. And with the recently published results, we have now evidence to say that performing a simple appendicectomy, that is removal of the appendix in a patient who's got ulcerative colitis, you can improve their quality of life, reduce relapses, improve uh, symptom-free days, and also provide much better quality of life in these patients. Similarly, even for Crohn's disease, there is now evidence from the Lyric trial that suggests that an early surgical option will produce significantly improved quality of life as opposed to being on these medications which are often very very expensive and have very debilitating consequences. So please see your IBD surgeon today to see if you can benefit from this new evidence that is there in our domain.